Hello and welcome to Tech 18. Here in this video, we are going to discuss about value scaling in Power BI. This is one of the useful cases for large enterprises, whether they want to look their values in terms of thousands or in terms of lakhs or in terms of millions. It depends on the company and based on the regional level where they are. So as an enterprise best practices, we need to adopt these into our base data set itself. I have made a separate video on seven enterprise best practices. And this is one of the additional feature which we need to add on in that lecture style. So if you haven't seen that video, please go and check out that video as well. So before going into that, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. Here now I am into my Power BI desktop and here on the top you can see there is a slicer with horizontal look and feel formatted. And here there's a region and the sales amount. Now, if I click on this one here, this will show as the sales amount in terms of one. And also there is a text here value in one so that user can understand what does this value shows here. And if it is thousands, then it can be a thousand value in thousand. It divides the value into thousands. And if it is a lakh, this is the lakhs. And if it crores, this is the crores. So if you're looking for a million, then also you can do that as being an in India I'm making this video. So I thought to make a video on thousands, lakhs and crores. So how to do that is the same logic applies to all the other regions, all the other currency as well. You can also do it by yourself. So for that, basically the data which I have it here is for an example, this one, this is scale master. And this basically, let me just show this into Power Query so that I can zoom this table here. And if I close this one, if you see this table, this contains scale ID, scale value, scale code and scale name. And here it's number one, one as one and its name is one. And the next is two, which is a thousand and scale code is K and name is thousand for lakhs. It is lakhs here, which is basically a hundred thousand. And uh, then we have the crore here, which is basically 10 million. So this is about INR currency, which you need to make in your case. Uh, like maybe it can be 1,000, 100,000 and then million and 10 million like that. But for this example, I just made this one. And after that, what you need to do here, coming back here to Power BI desktop. And this is the regional sales table, which I have, which basically contains regions and the sales amount just as a summary. And for this one, what you need to do now, let me just zoom here. Uh, this is my DAX, which is just plain sum of sales amount. As you can see, this is sales amount, sum of regional sales sales amount. And another measure which I have taken it here is variable selected scale, which is basically selected value from this scale master. If nothing is selected, then I want it to select one as a default value. And then returning this divide function, I'm using it here, sales amount divided by the selected sales value. If I do so, then I need to use this as a measure in my reporting purpose. So if the user want to look the values into lakhs, then they can just click on this lakhs here and then they will show up the values in lakhs here. Whatever the values shows up here is everything in lakhs. If they want to see the values in crores, then this is the value in crores. If they don't want to see any kind of scaling factor, then they can just click on the one then it will show us the raw value itself. Now, how we need to get this value in one, this text actually. So basically this is another DAX function, which I have just taken it the value in as a text here and then combine this as a selected value of this scale name. So basically it will show us value in one and then value in thousand and value in lakhs. So this is really a helpful thing if you are going to deploy things into a large enterprise and they don't want, and they want to see this information based on their choice of conversion scaling factor. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications, but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it on the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.